like at that position. I think the franchise tag is like fourteen point two something million, and he got until July to sign a tender. But um, you know, he, he he trying to work on a long term deal. I think they was only giving him like forty, like thirty eight million guaranteed or something like that. Wow. And the contract they offered him it was a hundred. It was like six years, a hundred something million, or like thirty eight or like forty something guaranteed. Low 40s guaranteed. Yeah, and he ain't want that. You know what I'm saying? He see he see what. Uh, what Olivier got paid, you know what right. I'm saying? He's seeing whatever pass rush is getting paid, and you can you can make the argument that he's top of the league. How, yeah, how about the guy that we signed, the Giants, Vernon? Yeah, Olivier Vernon. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. He's seeing what he signed for, you yeah. know what I'm saying? He's looking to see what everybody else signed for, and he figured, look, I'm a Super Bowl MVP. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So he, he, he wants his numbers to get mad, and John Elway don't seem to be budging, so uh, I don't know, man. What you what you, what you you see out there in, in the land of the NFL, man? Well, I see. I don't. I don't see exactly a lot of things that happened last year happening in this year. I see a lot of teams that was on the cut of being better last year, just made too many mistakes and had injuries, being better this year. For one, my Giants. I see us being lead them for last. A hundred. You say lead them for last. Lead them for last. Okay, I'll, I'll go past Who the else? Giants, man. I don't see nobody in our division really doing much because Me y'all either. y'all need a lot. Dallas, man, Romo just ain't gonna be it. You know what I'm saying? But, but uh, they got Ezekiel now, though. They got a Zeke. They got Zeke now, man. With him, I if think we gonna him, see if we gonna see the Ezekiel Elliott that we see in Ohio State, or we gonna see the one that. Got drafted, making that money, doing what he needs to do for his family. You know what I'm saying? I think we're going to see the Ezekiel Elliott better than this, Ohio State. Because right now, if you look at it, he's going to be playing behind what we can say the best, at the very least, offense, or the best run line mm-hmm. in the league. And he's going to so be. tell me something. Is Garrett going to be smart enough to start him? Um, I don't know. It depends. I think it depends on what happens in camp. Um, so yeah, let, let's go through the teams in our division. Okay. All right, so, um, but yeah, I think it depends on what happens in camp. What right. Garrett's gonna do. Right. Right now, you would have to say that um, what's the boy McFadden is a starter, but you would think that Elliott's gonna get a lot of a lot of carries. Now, if it comes out the way they feel like Elliott should be the starter, and and they'll use um, McFadden to spell him, and that, that I don't think that would be a bad idea either. But if then now. With them being able to possibly have a good enough running game to control the time of possession, could be well for them. And heard, it'll keep Romo. It'll keep Romo from being on on his ass. I heard McFadden been working out. He's been working with his legs so he don't get them hamstrings. I mean, he's been working on his weight, nutrition wise. I mean, they said he just been like a beast, man, trying to get better because they drafted this young man. Mm-hmm. So if he come in camp, uh. Say like the type of player he was when he was at uh, Arkansas. Do you think he'll start? If he comes in tip top shape, yeah, I think he will. Okay, but the issue still lies on Romo. Could Romo take another hit? He ain't gonna be able to take too many of them. I don't even think he can take that first good shot. Take too many of them, you know. All right, so let's go. Let's go to the Washington Football Team. Speaking of which, DC Gogo was in the building. Uh huh. DC Gogo, what up, baby? And also Bronco Boys up in the Bronco Boy, what up, baby? You know? But, um, yeah, Washington football, man. Oh, uh, you talking about the Dead Skins? Yeah. Buster team? Uh, I see them sitting in the middle to the bottom of the pack. You know? Because what Cousins did last year, he did it with, with us making trillions of mistakes, right? Because we played them early in the season and we was on all cylinders until we start making them dumb mistakes like the Dallas game. I thought we passed the Dallas game after the Dallas game, but it came back to us after we won a couple of games. But when we played them that game in D.C., no, no, in Maryland, we ran them over. I mean, we was making them lose the ball. We was scoring on turnovers. You know, uh, ODB was just torching the second day. And then the game we played them. You know they got Josh Norman now, right? We don't give a damn. The game we played them in D.C., they caught a 17-0 lead at the first half, and they just hung on to beat us 20-17, to you know? And then they took a touchdown 
from Beckham in the end zone that would have won the game. Yeah. You know, with them bullshit rules they got now. Well, uh, this is what uh, DC Gogo said. <laughs> he predicted them to go 12 and 4. He said. Two, who, he, who he predicted he to go 12 and 4? The Redskins. Oh, the Redskins. Oh, I, mean, I mean, the Washington yeah, football team. Man. He said two new coaches in the East, one dummy coach in Dallas. Washington wins division again 12 and 4. I doubt it. And then and G Money told him, keep dreaming. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, I'm glad you out there, G Money. But right now, Chief Rocker. Do not want to get the blood pressure up right now. So stay on his ass, G-Money. 334 Bama Boy jumped up in. He said he's back from the basketball tournament. What up, baby? What's up, 334? Uh, 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 but, um, but, yeah, you know, you know what team? I, I'm going to pick real quick my dark horse team. Who your dark, dark horse? That I think they'll make the playoffs. That was one of them teams you kind of was talking about. Uh, Jacksonville. Jackson. Yeah, yeah, they they uh they definitely gonna make some noise this yeah, year. Yeah, they got some good receivers. Yeah. Bortles ain't that he's not that bad. No, he's he's, he's, a, he's a young stud. And, and then their division is weak, you know? We don't know what to make of Andrew Luck anymore. Oh man, Andrew Luck is done. You know what I'm saying? And you talking about sticking the fork and uh I mean, the Texans got what Brock Oswald out there, you know, and then and then Tennessee and, So their division is wide open. Remember that Joker had nerve to tell us about the Texans? And I said the Texans. Well, he from he from oh, yeah, 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 from Houston. Yeah, talking yeah. about that's his team. Yeah, I said, man, y'all better get a, a clue on what you're doing. But yeah, man, that, that division sucks, man. Because uh, Andrew Luck is he's done, man. You, you might as well get the fault and stick it right up in it. Oh, Sluggo, Sluggo, Sluggo. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm get that for you. I'm glad you said that too. Well, I have that. G Money said Norman can't shut down Beckham. He got to get into his head to have a chance. And true that, G-Money, I'm glad you you spoke on that, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Because when they played in the Meadowlands, Norman got beat on the first offensive play of the game, but Beckham dropped the ball because he was oversighted for being that open. You know? And then after that, when Beckham got his head in the game, Beckham torched him the rest of the game, man. You know? So Josh Norman ain't going to make a difference. And I, if that's what the Redskins, I mean, why did I call them that? It's all good. Yeah, really? Me one. Getting hyped up, Me one. Getting hyped up ready Me one the Deskins. If the Deskins think they got Josh Norman to stop ODB, they, they got another thing coming, man. Because Julio, the week after, Julio Jones torched them and beat them down here in, in Georgia, in the Georgia Dome. Bronco boy said, Texans sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you right about that. DG Go go talking about G Money. He gonna shut him down twice this year. Man, come on, DD Go. Well, you, you know what? Why? Why? Let me ask you this though. Why? Why you think he left Carolina and went? I mean, his I feelings think... was hurt. He felt that he had a lot to do with the rebirth of Carolina. Okay. Defense shutting people down. He thought he was the man. Okay. But we seen what happened. You yeah, know, I, I, I and I was wondering like, why? Why would you leave? Why would you leave there? Unless they didn't want to pay you, you know, and I don't see why they wouldn't want to pay him. But at first he said he didn't have no problem signing the franchise tender. And then I guess he did have, have a problem signing the franchise tender because he wanted to get his long-term deal. And I don't blame him for wanting to get his long-term deal because you never know when you get injured on the contract year and then all of a sudden they don't want to pay you no more. But, I mean, <laughs> I don't think he went there, you know, to try to say, oh, I'm going to go up against uh, ODB. He, we're going to be rivals or nothing like that. But uh, I, I was surprised, man. I, and, and shame on Carolina to me, man, for, for not being able to keep any type of requisite weapons around camp, whether it's offense and now we've seen it on defense. They just keep losing people, you know what I'm saying, and they not act like they don't even care about helping Cam. Like they're going to try to throw too much on his plate. Yeah, that, that was sad. But at the same time, uh, Norman got to look at it, man. He ain't the only one Tucker offered, uh, 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 you know, that, that uh, franchise tag or whatever, you know, type of offer they had to give him. Mm-hmm. As far as keeping him and whatnot for another season, you know, he ain't the only one got that. One thing about it, you know, that's guaranteed money to you. Mm-hmm. That's 14, 15, 16 million guaranteed to you. You know, where you gonna go get 14, 15, 16 million to just play one season? Uh, uh, you got a challenge out there in the chat room. Um, he says he want, DC Gogo said he want to give you uh, he want to bet 20 apples apiece on the regular season games um, this year between you and him. DC Gogo, hey man, you ain't said nothing. 
You ain't said nothing because your dead skins, if y'all looking at trying to relive last year, last year you got in there default. Everybody else starts sucking out the league, man, out the, out the division. So that's how you got in there. Don't think you got in there because y'all were um, terrorizing anybody. You was going through the league like you were strong army. Y'all ain't did nothing. All you did was walk through the back door and got in the playoffs. Because you seen what happened. What was you, one and done? Yeah, they was one and done. They was definitely one and done. But um, anyway, man, we're going to have to end the show now. I got to have enough time for Sluggo's request. Um, appreciate y'all joining us, man. Y'all keep 100 with yourselves. Otherwise, you can't keep it 50 with nobody else. Be safe out there in them streets. This is the Bottom to the Top show. Number one, Chief Rocker, Jersey Vern, Jay Fisher, the microwave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jersey, let everybody know where they can find you at, man. All you got to do is go on Facebook. Look up the number one Chief Rocket, Jersey Vern. Twitter, two accounts. Uh, one is Jersey Vern. The other one is Chief Rocket. Instagram, same thing. Email AtlantaJersey at Yahoo.com. And don't have me say all this and you don't even use it. Use it and holler at me. Let me know what you like about what me and the microwave is doing. Because we are the bottom to the top. And we going way up. All right, man. You can find me uh, at squadaffiliates.com. You can find me at Jay Fish. To, uh, you can find me on, on um, Spreaker. Follow me. Jay Fish the Microwave. Twitter, J, at Jay Fish the Microwave. Leave a V and the E off. Facebook, John Fisher. Um, J-O-N-F-I-S-H-E-R. You can email me, uh, papito646 at gmail.com. P-A-P-I-T-O. 646 at gmail.com. Um, shouts out to the X Squad affiliates. Shouts out to SME. Yes, sir. For my partner and myself. Mm-hmm. Been the bottom to the top show. This right here is for, for, for Sluggo's old lady. Stepping with a swag. And when we pull that piece out, niggas be like, peace out. <laughs>
I step with swag. Step in with a swagger, you haters don't even matter. I step with swag. I step with swag. Step in with a swagger, you haters.